Yo, what's going on internet? We're in the studio right now. We're gonna try out some of these golden paints. Golden the paint company that actually makes the two paints that you can buy in any art store. We're now making a line of mural paints for interior and exterior walls. I found out about them through my friend Jason Graves who does a lot of amazing work. He was actually using these mural paints. So I was super interested in sort of trying them out. I asked Golden if they could send me a few and they did. So we're gonna try that out today. Go over the specs and their pricing and all this other stuff and then just do a little mini sample mural and see how it goes and then we'll go from there so they sent me a ton of colors a ton of gallons so the burnt umber the i believe it's pyro red the yellow orange the i'm just gonna say blue green shade <laughs> i'll just leave it there the carbon black the the uh, yellow the the oxide green and the purple that's my favorite color just purple that's what it just says so yeah so they sent me the gallons and they sent me the 16 ounces as well they wanted to solve the problem of fading with the colors and vibrancy so they made 36 out of the 39 with light fast colorants so it's designed not to fade when sort of mixing or sort of staying outside for long periods of time so the colors will not fade and the colors are really really vibrant so like this orange i feel like i'm about to drink the sun so they're really rich so i'm glad they have the color fast and a side note the gallons come with this little metal clip that allows you to make sure the lid is secure on the top of the can so that can prevent all these sort of awkward spills in the car so i really really like that so one of the things that Golden wanted to solve was the one coat coverage. So I wanted to try the test where I just paint this black line across with their carbon black and then go over that black with all these other colors that they have. I did the same test with the Nova color. And basically when I did it with this uh, golden paint, you know, I was really, really surprised about, you know, the coverage. It really worked out really well. All the different colors really had some great coverage. So that's really big when it comes to making sure that you're not having to go over a sort of space that you're coating with a certain color over and over and over and over again you know i think a lot of times it's best done with a roller rather than a brush because i think a brush puts down a lot of pressure but um this worked out really well in terms of you know making sure that the coverage is really well um with the one coat some do better than others of course you know it's, all colors are different and one side note is that they dried slower than i expected so i had to take that into account but it may be different between interior and exterior and the humidity of where you're using the paints because if it's a hot sunny day they'll dry really fast versus like a rainy day and I also wanted to just try this out on sort of the concrete and sort of brick texture just to see how they absorb into sort of like these unfinished sort of unprimed areas because you know sometimes you're, you're doing work outside and you just don't have all the supplies so you just got to paint straight onto a substrate so i wanted to try some of these concrete blocks so I got some from home depot and just you know just painted on them with the orange and then the purple and basically just see exactly you know how they sort of took and what they did and i was super surprised especially with the purple it definitely had some great coverage got in there almost kind of like a primer as well so that was really good just to see that so after that test, I basically wanted to do a mini mural. So I primed my wall in my studio and made a palette out of a vinyl record, which was really cool. So I used my laser cutter and then really just started the mural. I used my friend Miggy as a reference. I'm going to do a larger mural of him, but I had a couple photos. So I, so I basically just, was just using those photos for this one and started to roll and use the brush. The rollers worked really well with the actual sort of paint. So I really like that. But the one thing I would say is that because of the limited color palette, it was difficult for me to get all the colors that I wanted to. I used a ton of colors so to get some of those bright vibrant colors I couldn't really do that with this right here so you just want to make sure you take note of that in the end I was happy with the results I love the coverage it covered really well there are some patches in the background but it was because it was really quick this only took me maybe three hours to sort of put down but I was really happy about the results uh, like I said, I, it was hard to get a lot of the, the colors that I wanted to, but the colors that I did use did work well together. And lastly, the finish was more of a satin finish. It wasn't sort of a matte or wasn't sort of a, a glossy sort of feel. It's more of a satin finish, and I think it was 
consistent, pretty consistent with all the different colors that I was using. So if you go to the Golden Paints website and we just check it out, we go through and we're just checking out some of the, the paints that they have. They have the Mural Paint Starter Kit. So the Mural Paint Starter Kit comes with like four different colors, uh, the primary colors, and it's about, uh, you get four with the white and it's about 35, 60. So that comes out to be like nine bucks per. Uh, per 16 ounce and then if you go down to the larger kit you get six which is basically comes out with for 56 bucks 30 cents that's about eight bucks per per uh, 16 ounce it's uh, a little different when you get to the gallons and the gallons right here range from 70 bucks to 69 to 159 or 160 bucks per per gallon and that's like an arm and that's like a leg so you can <laughs> just basically do the math right there there's really expensive and then they give the 15 percent discount um, but that's still really really expensive and you can actually see some of the different prices of some of the different colors that you may want to get on their sort of price list so let's open that up and you can kind of see if you go down um, you'll be able to see like yeah 75 bucks you know an arm a leg you know uh, a hip a, a heart right there I mean these are really really expensive uh, sort of paints but the reason they're expensive be is because they are really really good so that is why you know for for me this is very much uh, sort of a brand of paint that I will look at for really uh, professional jobs and jobs that sort of uh, I want to last forever especially the interior ones and if you go down below as well you'll start to see some other products that uh, golden paints provide like the mural isolation coat basically it gives like an even glossy coat um, so over the mural that you've done and, you know this one right here is like a mural adhesive glue or gel basically if you're doing something like a wheat pasting or using the uh, parachute cloth poly tab you're able to sort of uh, permanently adhere to the wall the mural varnish is really great because you know this basically helps with the ultraviolet light and helps it sort of uh keep the colors fresh and rich over time but also they have the mural solvent so you can do the varnish and then you can take off the varnish with this mural solvent repair the mural and then put back on the the varnish afterwards like you know restoring a painting so they're trying to bring that to the mural space so this is something that i think is really really great for you know just muralists trying to preserve a lot of their work over time so this is really this is pretty pretty good so i, I like that i like that a lot so yeah so go to this website you'll be able to see all the different types of paint they have for the interior exterior wall space um, and basically you'll be able to pick your colors and check out the prices as well so hopefully you like that review the test of the paint the mini mural just like all the different things i was doing with it and i don't get paid for any of this i just like to experiment and try out new things and share my experience so hopefully you get a lot out of that i'll probably only be using these murals in special occasion for like pain projects that i can sort of budget the paint into because it is expensive so i got i have to think about that and i'll probably only use it on interior murals that i really want to last a long time for those paying clients so that is how i will be using the paint so full disclosure and lastly make sure you like subscribe and hit that bell notification and also comment below as well because that does help me out because i still want to do videos like this all the time for you guys and just have fun experimenting with artwork and just sharing my experience like i said before and i will see you next time peace